Alright, so this time we're doing a playthrough at Spinal. Let's we'll just jump right into it. So, this is the first time I'm doing commentary after the fact. So, on all the other playthroughs, I, um, I'm talking in real time as I'm playing. So, I didn't do it that way in this one because Spinal was actually the character I was the worst at. I think I've gotten way better since I made the tutorials and I've done a lot of practicing. But, uh, this is a fun little thing to do. But using doing this finish move on this stage by the uh, by the tree branches so that's intentional um yeah i've gotten way better with spinal he's just uh he plays a lot different so some of these characters if you play as somebody you can jump to a different character and it's pretty much the same uh spinal's spinal's definitely got a different feel to him um i always found him to be kind of a stiff character but now that I've played as him a lot more recently, uh, yeah, he's, he's actually really fun to play as. He do some real cool juggles like that. I'd say, uh, yeah, there's another one. <laughs> I got a lot of stuff going on right here in the beginning. So, perfect timing on the, uh, the, the no mercy there when somebody's throwing a projectile. But yeah, there's a lot of cool juggles you can do. One of the things I didn't mention in his tutorial, which I should mention, that's that's what these playthroughs are supposed to be, um, is more of an extension on the tutorials I've been making. So I did make tutorials for all of the 10 main characters. I still have yet to do one for Gargus. I might still do that, I'm not sure, but uh, anyway, there'll be a link there if you're interested in learning the special moves and things, but so there's a few little details I didn't mention with Spinal. Um, some of them I actually found after the after the fact, uh, but that video was already 40 minutes long. So, so one of the things is Spinal's air double. So everybody has a move that if you do uh, a jumping attack on somebody in the air, there's a a second move you can do to follow it up. I actually didn't know what Spinal's was. I, I hadn't seen it in a move list, and uh, yeah, I never found it on my own. Until one day I was playing, and it just kind of intuitively uh, dawned on me uh, because of his dive kick. So when you're in the air, you press down and fierce kick. That's what you see me doing that a lot. So I thought, well, that's probably what his air double is. <laughs> so yeah. Um, you just have to press the button to the left of whatever you were doing. So if I, I'm doing a jumping fierce kick, then I just press down medium kick, and that's your uh, that's your air double. And then you can follow that up with like a quarter circle forward medium punch. And then another fun thing to do after you summon your skulls is um, his crouching fierce punch is a launch, and when you do that, you can then probably throw a, throw a skull like that for double. So, I know, a lot of rambling. There's a lot of stuff going on here. Especially <laughs> in the beginning, man. Holy crap. So here I'm trying to, yeah, I'm trying to bait out him to do the roll to evade the skull and then catch him. And it worked out, so... There's some extra stuff I, I could have done in this fight against Glacius. Like, Spinal Slide will beat out Glacius' uppercut. So I could have I could have been doing that. So that yeah, that was that's down fierce punch right there. I think i I think I do a another one of those juggle combos here. But um, you can, so Spinal can also absorb special moves, right, if you hold back and quick punch. Um, I will, I'll absorb the fireball, that, or ice ball that he throws, but not the uppercut. You can, so if I, if I were to try to absorb and Glacius did the uppercut, I would absorb that and get a skull, but the problem is that Glacius recovers from the uppercut before I recover from absorbing it. So there was that, that was that combo right there. 
Um, so yeah, that's usually not a good idea. Here you go. Boom. You see how it's jump fierce, uh, and then down medium kick, quarter circle forward, medium punch. Now, this is interesting at the end of this ultra, because he, if I remember right, he doesn't actually throw any skulls. Yeah, look at that. How often does that happen? Right, so you're supposed to throw one skull, or if you pull off the super at the end, you get several. Alright, so, yeah, Jago, sometimes I have a hard time um, beating him with Spinal, which is part of the reason why I'm doing the, com the commentary after the fact. So, with most of the other characters, uh, I can make it to Gargus in one try. I can do that with Spinal. Um, but I'd already <laughs> I'd already started recording this video uh, a couple of times already, and I was like, you know what? I'm tired of uh, I'm tired of saying this same stuff over and over again. So it's gonna lose all authenticity. So let me just play, and then I'll talk after the fact. So, so we're, yeah, right there, I was throwing a fireball to bait out the Dragon Punch because the Dragon Punch goes to the fireball and then hit him out of it. I was trying to do the air double there too, but it didn't work. And that was a failed uh, ultimate. I was trying to down, down, quick kick. That won't be the last time I fail it in this gameplay. Oh well. <laughs> Yeah, and then at this point in the game, uh, combo breakers. A lot. A lot of combo breakers. Especially, especially Fulgore and uh, Gargas. Holy crap. Just non-stop. Um, the fact that I think there's some combo breakers that take place while I'm not even in a combo, which is always, always fun. And this is just medium. Uh, yeah, it's pretty much what I, I play this on most of the time, but... Yeah, sometimes even like the fourth, the fourth opponent you fight, you're already getting combo breakers like on hit two. So yeah, once you have the skull, then you, you've got access to the teleport, so I was trying to, trying to sneak in behind them, but... I'm working too much. I don't even remember what happens at the end of this one. I remember it's stupid close though. Oh yeah, I remember now. <laughs> right, so I start implementing his super, which is an overhead, and the computer normally gets hit by it. And right there, I, I miss my ultra. So, just had to, just had to do that. Yeah, that super he has is uh, really good. It's an overhead opener. I think it's three bars. I think. Uh, the, the, the problem is trying to pull it off in a, in a pinch, like right right when you need it. It's desperate. It's like, all right, let's do it right now, and then you get something dumb. <laughs> That's usually the, the drawback of it. And then, now Kim Wu is the determining factor of Spinal's ending, whether you defeat her or not. Honestly, both the Spinal's endings are pretty grim for him. So, it doesn't really matter. But yeah, I'd try to make sure I did a finish move on him. And then, of course, yeah, there a minute ago, I saw me duck. Don't duck against Kim Lee. There you go, that happened again. She, because her split kicks and overhead. You can duck if you see a sweep coming, but for the most part, you don't want to default to crouching block. There it is. Now this time we get some skulls. Alright, now this fight... <laughs> we'll just... 
Man, this this is uh this is close. <laughs> but this fight's a good example of why to not uh to not quit and why it's never over until it's over. Because I see that happen a lot in fighting games. People either celebrate really early because, oh wow, you know, I pull up the super, this is going to kill. Alright, it left them with like 0.1% health and then they lose. Or you think, eh, well, it's done and you put the controller down and you still have uh, life up. Activate jumping beam, I'm telling you. That was a failed super opener. <laughs> Holy cow, yep. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so that's actually another time where I'm glad I wasn't trying to commentate while playing, so I got to actually focus. And the tech the combo breakers, this is what I'm talking about. This it's just absolutely insane. You can't do anything. Everything's a combo breaker. I mean other than that, right? Combo breakers non-stop. I usually find forward and that'd be too much of a problem. I think I mentioned that in some other videos. It's weird, but yeah, I'm more likely to lose against Jago or Tusk. Look at that, that was weird, right? But neither one of those hit, we just kind of canceled each other out there. I think here, yeah, look at that. <laughs> Dude, a wake up combo breaker. I wasn't even doing a combo. He was always cheating, right? 90s fighting game AI. <laughs> There's another failed uh, down down quick kick. It, it's so weird, right? To, <laughs> how do you mess up down down quick kick? I don't know, but it happened. Now, Gargus. Uh, <laughs> so the, I'm gonna. You're gonna see what happened the first time. And then I cut out probably a dozen fights with him. So. It's just because it was so ridiculous. So you get to see how I lost the first fight, which I think was really close. I thought I actually had him. Uh, and then I just, I'm, just, I'm gonna show the clip where I actually won. I don't have this kind of problem uh, with the rest of the cast, but yeah, Spinal, I don't really have, I really don't have a cheap strategy. I, I've tried the dive kick, sometimes that works. I've done that before. We just kind of catch him in the toe and just, and then the other thing I try to do is wait for him to be in the air and catch him with my air double. Um, and then this here, <laughs> I mess up. I'm trying to bait out the opener, but see, yeah, he's gonna go straight into a combo breaker. It's kind of a mess. <laughs> yeah, I thought maybe I could uh, have that same luck happen again right here, but nope. Yeah, my my strategy is uh, just fight him 20 times and then. <laughs> yeah, I think at this point maybe the computer was like, ah, oh, let's let's let him get a combo or two because you know it let me get that something over a three hit combo. But yeah, that's really what I want is for him to to jump, throw that fireball, and let me get a 
a triple. Uh, I don't know. I'll have to. I'll have to find something better than this. But yeah, pretty much dive kicks, crossing fingers, and uh, air double combos. That's about all I got. <laughs> so yeah, if anybody watching this has a, a nice strategy you want to share, uh, let us know. Because that's really more what I was trying to do with the playthroughs is add some extra tips, but we don't have much Gargus other than what you're seeing right here. Just going to chip away at him. There was one time I was playing, though, where that dive kick really was hitting him. Like, I was getting him probably 90% of the time. That's all I did. It's like real low dive kicks and just catch him in the, in the toe. But... Yeah, if I, if I would have included all the Gargus battles, it would have just been like an hour long video. <laughs> eh, not that bad, but it seemed like it. So then we get, yeah, it's finals ending. So this this little shot's always the same, but it's the, uh, the follow-up images are different based on whether you did finish move on Kim Wu or not. It looks like it's gonna be happy. It's like I mean, he's chilling, right? Chilling on the boat, he's got his drink. And then it then it goes to this. It's just like, man, he just That's it. <laughs> happy ending. Alright, well, I thank you for watching. And uh, again if you're interested in learning any of the special moves that you saw in this video, there's a link to the tutorials in the description it's uh the spinal video is quite a long video but i say he's i think much more complicated than the other characters in the cast so it's uh yeah anyway i uh, thank you for watching we'll see you next time